Hi, this is Burley Drummond. And Mary Harris. Of Ambrosia and Tin Drum. And uh, this is Backstage360.com. This is Brenda Starr with Backstage 360. We're here at NAM uh, in the media area. I'm here with Mary Harris and Burley Drummond. Yes. Hello. Yes. Of Ambrosia yes. and uh, Tin Drum. Tin Drum. Yes. yes. Right. So you just got just came in from Vegas. Yes, yes. we did. We had a we had a concert there at the Golden, Golden Nuggets. Nuggets. We play there at least twice a year. It's kind of like a second home. You know. Wow. Uh, well, I know it was awesome because I just saw you guys last month at the Coach House, and wow. Oh. Yeah, Ambrosia, man, still going, going strong. Fifty years this year. Yes. How many? Fifty, 50 years this year. Wow, yeah. wow. So you started when you were five. Three. 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 Okay, three. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So actually, he started. <laughs> I didn't start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is it true that you played every single Ambrosia uh, show? Yes. Well, no, me personally. Yeah. No, I've uh, I have missed uh, two shows. Maybe two, yeah. Two shows, because I for years uh, I I hooked up with this uh, Mighty Mo Rogers, this great blues artist, and I would do all these European tw uh, blues festivals, and um, I have a pension for Europe, so uh, so I missed two shows. Yeah. Ah, okay, so you went AWOL? Is I that did, what you're I saying? Did. Yes, I did. But I got good subs, yeah. You know what? I love it. I love it. But, I mean, still, that's a lot of shows, yeah. right? Any idea how many that might be? Oh no. Gosh. Well, you figure uh, probably 70 a year for 50 years, you know? That's probably our, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah. add that. Yeah, my math abilities, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah, so you do drums and you do keyboards, keyboards right? And sing, yes. Sing, and, yeah. and sing, okay. Mm -hmm. And so tell me, when did you first get interested in drumming or your first kid or want to? Or tell me something about where it all started. Oh, well, okay. For, this is kind of an esoteric story, but when I was a kid, I'm an army brat. So my father was stationed in Ankur, Turkey. So my mom took me to a bazaar one day and I... Uh, I was about seven, and I, I wandered away from her. Ended up in the back of a tent, where they were all these craftsmen were spinning the, the copper plates and hammering them, and the synchronicity of what they were doing, and just kind of the joy they had doing it, spinning the plates and hammering. I've been addicted to be trying to make music out of hitting things for the rest of my life. Wow. So the sound moment. just resonated with you, oh, and that, that, that was, was it? it. That was it. You know that. Wow. That's and what, what age was that? I was about seven years old. Yeah. But she, she started earlier than I did. She started at five. Four. Yeah. yeah. Well, I started playing at four, but I started taking lessons at five, wow. classical piano lessons. Wow. Yeah. So was that, did your parents like just provide the opportunity and you ran with it? Well, or? my mom was a piano player. Okay. And I used to sit down and play with her when I was real little. And she thought, well, I'll get, maybe give her some piano lessons here. And the rest is history. I played ever since. So it was, I mean, that's where I got turned on to. It was from my mom. She was a really good piano yeah, She's player. still turned on. Yes. I'm That's still awesome. Doing. That's awesome. Well, so that brings it. To, so when you guys do, so they have a band, uh, Tin Drum, right? Well, you're both in, mm -hmm. and yet it's also some of your family in it as well. well. Is that is they, that correct? Who, yes. Are they just jammed? They they would they crash the show sometimes? Yeah. What exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's more yeah. like that. It's it's the two of us in our songs, mm -hmm. and then we have a, a bass player. Um, named John, John Davis, Davis and, and a guitar player named Mark, Mark Bonilla. Bonilla. Great players. And then when our family's around, um, our, our daughter and our son, we have them play and sing with us because they're musicians as well, and it's, yeah. and it's great. So the way, the way that all happened, uh, Ten Drum, is that Mary was touring um, with Jimmy Buffett and uh, Animal Logic and people doing that, and I was touring with other people like Jim Messina. And, and so we had a son who was, you know, he was three and we, when we, we were, first started. We were that. literally touring so much individually that we were handing him. I'd meet her at the airport. She'd come in, here's our son, see you later. I'd go on a plane. And so we figured that the only way that we're really going to share our life together is that we form a band together and do music together. And that started Tin Drum. And, you know, we got, we did three CDs and won all this independent awards and stuff like that. But. But that was, it was really just a way for us to have a career together. And that was before I was in Ambrosia. So, so. Now, now she's morphed into Ambrosia. Yeah. And uh, so I think, I think we're one of the few, you know, husband-wife teams that still 
play together. Pat Benatar. Sure, Pat Benatar and her okay. husband do it, yes. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering about that. I was, yeah. that was My mind was thinking, you read yeah, my mind. I was like, is there anybody else so. that, yeah. There's yeah. a few, not a lot though. Yeah, not and not for the length of time, right? Exactly. How long have you guys been together? 36. 36 years. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. What's that anniversary date? Uh, August 19th. Okay, I'll make sure not to call you on August okay. 19th. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, every, every day. That's yeah. what, you know what, that's the beauty of it. Every day is, and look at yeah. how smiley happy you are. Yeah. You're happy. You know, yeah. they say, they say, you know, look at, yeah. look at the smile on your lady and that'll tell you what a good man, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, right? Absolutely. So, that's awesome. So tell us a little more about uh, Tim Drum. What type of music is it? Um, you know, anything that you want, how would you describe it? If well, we have, I have not heard it yet, but I'm looking sure. forward to it. it. I think it's an, well, I've heard a lot of comparisons to Ambrosia. It's kind of an extension of Ambrosia. Uh, but it, it was about, we wrote a lot about our, our family and, you know, having kids and, and dealing with life in that, in that position because that's what we were living. So, and, and, you know. And world issues. And world issues. So it's kind of like know. progressive pop rock world Music. A lot of world influence. It's hard yeah. to say exactly the yeah. style, but, but uh, yeah. it has a lot. Well, you know what? It's good when you don't define it because then you're not boxed in. So exactly. I like that. Yeah. Just exactly. go with that. It's going to be good, yeah. right? Yeah. I just know that. Oh. I know that. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So um, so let's talk about Ambrosia, right? Still going strong in yeah. 2020, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 50 years later, right? right. Wow. Right. So uh, what's 2020 look like for Ambrosia? Uh, well, more touring. We're, this is our 50th anniversary, so we're going to try to live it up as much as possible. And... Uh, you know, we've got some cruises coming up, yeah. so that's good for both playing and relaxing. Yes, yes. And, uh, and And we're, we are personally have. I mean, Ambrosia uh, may do some recording this year, but uh, we're really just going to celebrate the 50th anniversary and, uh, and have as much fun as we can. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Tin Drum's going to record a new record. And we're having fun playing with uh, Bill Chaplin. He's a, somebody that we play yes. with. So it's and, a band called Wonderground, yeah. and it's... A lot of fun. A it's, lot of fun. You, you know, you think at this age, I mean, I'm 68, that, you know, you might have learned a, a substantial bag of tricks, but, but then you meet somebody like Bill Chaplin, and it's like going to school. The guy is so talented and so much experience that it's like, wow. Yeah. Well, we never stop learning, right? No. We never stop growing. I mean, exactly. there's, you can't, you can't learn it all you so there's always more right oh, and it, absolutely and, and it's fun with someone like bill chaplin too because he's very passionate about music yeah. playing singing everything in his songs and so it makes you more passionate yeah. you know yeah. And, yeah. And absolutely it's, it's contagious and it's honor yeah. an honor to be part of it yeah, he's, you know? so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. he's so good so, yeah. Yeah. yeah very cool okay so tin tin drum has a show coming up right do you want to plug that yeah march 15th uh a little place in agura Called Bogies, okay. uh, that we've we've What's kind of, the date of it? March fifteenth. March fifteenth. And uh, it's it's <laughs> going to be special for us because our daughter, who's in the Peace Corps in Thailand, is coming home uh, to play with us for that show. And and our son, who has his own band called the Everly Brothers Experience, who tours a lot. He tours all. You know, they happen all to the both time. be home at the same time, so we're going to so yeah. they're going to take advantage. They're going to be with us on that show, and it'll be a real family affair. And they, they participated in all our records. Too, so it's kind of like it would be wonderful. For yeah, us. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, so where can people follow you? Is there somewhere um, that you want to give a, a web address or a meet, social sure. media page? Sure. Well, for Ambrosia, it's ambrosialive.net, and Tindrum is tindrummusic.com. Okay. Yeah, Great. or tindrum.com. Great. Yeah. All right. And since we're here at NAM, we should probably talk about um, equipment. Um, yes, we'd like a lot of equipment. Yes. We would like to, <laughs> like to go home with a lot of equipment today. All yes. right, so tell your wish list. Okay, well, I, there's some nice DW kits I saw up there, and uh, I have to remind them I'm one of their artists. Okay. I think I'm one of the first five artists they ever signed. So. Wow. Yeah. And the uh, prestigious company, Jim Keltner was the other one, and John... Uh, John Hernandez from Oingo Boingo, so I'm, I was in good company back then. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. Zildjian, Vic Firth, Mary wants all, all the Yamaha I'm, products. I'm definitely a Yamaha person. My, I just got the um, um, MODX8, and it's one of it's such a great keyboard. I, I kind of stuck with Yamaha for a long time now. Thanks. Really, 
really yeah. believe in their product. So. We brought our van. We're going to pack it up. <laughs> to the Yamaha display. A couple of grand pianos. Mm -hmm. Fill it up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why they, not? Don't, they don't know it yet. But yeah. yeah. Wow. So in Tim Drum, are you you are the singers, or is yeah. there another singer? We're the no, singers. we're the singers. Oh, right we, on. Sing, we sing lead, and we sing harmonies. Everyone sings harmonies, but we're the... The writers and the singers. Yeah, it's I can great. tell this is really special. It's it a really is. special yeah, band. It is, yes. Go check out yeah. Tim Drum. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, anything else you guys want to add before we? Just that you know, uh, we're very excited about music this year and uh, every year, and the fact that we get to play together. Uh, yes. You know. Uh, yeah. And encourage you know couples out there that do ha have musical talents to check out playing with your partner because it's it's wonderfully rewarding. It's great, and it's yeah. like you don't really think of retiring because it's something that you love, and it's just building. So, yeah, yeah. and we can do it at home. We have a studio at home, so we can yeah. so, yeah. do it in our pajamas and our right. slippers and yeah. everything aligned. <laughs> exactly. Right on. All right. Well, this is Brenda Starr for Backstage 360 with Burley Drummond and Mary Harris, and uh, we're tuning out. We'll catch you later. Stay tuned.